Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about budgets. This is going to be a very detailed account of what we spent for the month of March and what we received for those dollars. We started our journey in Trapani, Sicily, where we spent four nights in March. In last month's budget video from Sicily, we mentioned we drove from Trapani, Sicily to the ferry station in Messina. We took the ferry, which had already been paid for in February for a round trip to Via San Giovanni, which cost us $79.12. And then we drove to Scilla, Italy. This little town is absolutely adorable. There we had a pizza that looked the size of Julie, as well as a barren water, and we paid $15. Our accommodations that evening was fantastic. We stayed in a little B&B that overlooked the ocean. It was nice. It was just really a little hotel room, but it was only $43 and included breakfast with the cappuccino the next morning. We had... A little bit of tight parking, but not too bad. And there were no parking costs involved, which is always a plus. When we departed Schiller, we headed to the ferry station in Brindisi, Italy. We covered this in a previous video. Our costs for that round trip were $395.54. This was also paid in February, so it's not included in this budget for the month of March 2024. We boarded the ferry from Brindisi, Italy, and eight and a half hours later, we arrived in Vlora, Albania. We drove the two and a half hours from Vlora to the beautiful little city of Saranda, Albania, and we arrived in Saranda on the 8th of March. Our total lodging includes the four nights in Tropani for $182. It's a two bedroom, and we got this one on Airbnb uh, for your area here. You have the first bedroom, which has a couch, a little love seat, bunk beds, and a nice view here to the beach area. And coming out this direction, we have a bathroom, shower, good sized, and the master bedroom. And it's got, uh, again, a great view out here of the little beach and then lots of storage here. Bed feels pretty good. It uh, feels soft but firm. Kitchen. And, and we've got a uh, four burner gas, double sink, which we don't see those often in Europe. And we've got a microwave and a refrigerator TV up here in the kitchen. And then if we look down here, this is the courtyard and you can see we have Abby is parked right there. So we have parking here, but it's not reserved. So it may become a first come first serve. The night in Sheila for $43 and just $445 for 24 nights in Saranda, Albania. So totaling $670 for the entire month for lodging. This is the lowest housing we personally have had in a year outside of our times that we stay in Montenegro. Remember, we are typically looking for Wi-Fi, parking, places that accept dogs, a washer, and great internet. And a kitchen. Kitchen. I can't forget the kitchen. <laughs> the most important part. Groceries in Saranda, Albania are relatively inexpensive. The produce is very reasonable if it's in season and not imported. Overall, Saranda offers a great cost of living. We paid $9.20 for a kilogram of chicken or $4.18 per pound. We bought one kilogram of cuttlefish for approximately $10. Seven liters of bottled water cost us 120 Albanian lek or $1.26. Eggs were an interesting conundrum. We paid a whopping 450 Albanian lek $4.72 for 10 eggs in one market because, well, we chose the wrong ones. The next time we bought 30 eggs for 480 Albanian lek or $5.04. And the last time we bought a 30 pack for 660 Albanian lek or $6.93. As you can see, prices vary extensively. So we're still assessing a little bit about the cost of living in Albania, it's obviously cheaper than in the States. 
we're trying to assess whether or not it's much cheaper than uh, other places we've been still as far as going out to eat and going to a bar much cheaper but uh, Julie's going to talk a little bit about the groceries at this point. So right now the lek to the dollar is actually the weakest it has been at uh, the dollar is the weakest it has been since 2011 so I think we're getting about 95 to the dollar and for this entire lot, we have mushrooms. We bought an umbrella today, two apples, four bananas, a little tiny cauliflower, a small broccoli, two cucumber, three small tomatoes, spinach, and two uh, things of eggs, which is 20 eggs. Cost us 2,000 Albanian lek, which is about 21 US dollars. So in the comments, tell us what you think. This month, we frequented restaurants, cafes, and bars. We had six bar visits, 15 lunches out, 5 dinners out, and 8 coffee and desserts out. We have not been out this much since Antalya, Turkey in 2022. Albania definitely offers a lot for the dollar. This city has a tremendous variety of restaurants and a strong expat community, which greatly influenced our reasons for going out frequently. The walkability of the city is fantastic and makes visiting here a pleasure. Our total for all 34 of these outings came out to be $625. And our fuel costs for the month were $119. In Italy, we filled up for €1.69 per liter, which is $1.82. And that's $6.93 per gallon. In Albania, the price is significantly higher than most countries. It is currently 199 Albanian lek, which is $2.09 per liter, which is $7.93 per gallon. We had almost no parking costs for our entire month. We paid one euro, which is $1.08 at current rates, for the whole month. And that was only for parking. And we paid $11 in tolls, taking us from Trapani, Sicily to Saranda, Albania. We have truly only seen a few tolls in the country of Albania. So now our medical insurance is $240 every month, and we have a $2,500 deductible, $1 million cap of insurance, and it's based on our ages of me being 56 and Julie being 49. Now, if you want to run your own quote, go to our website, warnjulietravel.com, and you can run your quotes on IMG, Safety Wing, and Cigna Global. Now, I am an appointed agent with these companies, so if you do choose to sign up using our links at my website, I will receive a commission, and for that, I will thank you. If you have questions on the different types of coverages, feel free to email me at warnjulietravel at gmail.com. So our miscellaneous expenses totaled $74, and that was for $15 of toiletries, $44 for the gym for Warren, and $15 in bank fees. Albania is a cash society, and it has the most expensive cash withdrawals we have experienced anywhere in Europe. We can generally find an ATM that does not charge or that is not very expensive, but each withdrawal here in Albania ranges from around $5 to $15. We recommend carrying the Chase Sapphire card and the Wise card. Both cards are in our website under Travel Resources. If you click on the link, if you apply and are approved, we will receive a small commission. So, for our month between Sicily and Albania, we paid $2,206. We had an amazing month socializing, making friends, and frequenting restaurants. In Albania, we visited Girocaster, Samil, and Blue Eye during our visit. So, to break this budget down even further, Let's talk about what we spent in Sicily and what we spent in Albania. We spent $425.31 between lodging, restaurants, grocery stores, fuel, parking, and tolls in Sicily. In Albania is where we spent most of our month of March, and there we spent $1,780.32 between lodging, restaurants, groceries, fuel, miscellaneous, as mentioned earlier, medical insurance, and phone. Sadly for us, we have some bonus footage this month, don't we, honey? Oh, boy, do we. Our beloved car, Abby, broke down in the middle of nowhere in the mountains of Albania on our way to the hilltop city of Gerocaster. Okay, so we are having our first problem ever with 
Abby, she's been a good car. I thought we had cheap Italian fuel and she wasn't getting any power, but it turns out something's probably wrong with the clutch and she just died here. And so we are stuck on the road in Albania. This is the first time we've had any problems at all with her. But yeah, right next to a cemetery. What a place to die. <laughs> Beautiful snowy peaks nearby. Oh uh, yes, we've got scenery. <laughs> we love Abby, but she died right next to the graveyard. I hope that's not a sign. Okay, so we're on the way. We're riding inside. So my friend Paul and I will be riding in the car as we get towed by the tow truck. So be a little bit higher. Um, I feel a little bit out of control. I'll be driving, but uh, in the driver's seat, but I'm not gonna be able to steer. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Going down the hill. <laughs> what it's like to be in a car in the back of a tow truck. Look at no hands. <laughs> on the driving. Ooh, no hands, no hands. Ah. While I share this beautiful Albanian countryside with you, let me remind you that Julie just revamped our website. Please check it out warrenjulietravel.com and there you can find our links to things like the Chase Sapphire card we mentioned earlier as well as the Wise card. You can also book your plane tickets, rental cars, you can find international health coverage and we have our blog there as well as all of those resources. Now we don't ask you to do things like buy us a coffee or try to raise money from you by trying to give special classes we kind of share everything with you as it happens so if you watch our videos it's all for free so if you want to support us you can always go to our website go to our amazon store and buy something you normally would buy whether it's a can of beans or toilet paper if you buy it through our amazon store through our website we'll make a little bit of a commission and for that we thank you so don't give us money for free but if you need something don't be afraid to Use one of our links out there. And if you don't need anything at all and don't want to hit those links, if you could just watch a commercial here from YouTube, that would be fantastic as well. And I want to remind everybody we do have a Facebook group, a growing community of expats, nomads, and people that may want to become an expat or nomad or live abroad. So check it out. Search Facebook for Warren Julie Travel and join our growing group. Share your stories, your experiences, your expenses there as well, and get some real-time information from us. Turn left onto SH-99. Whoa, whoa, Warren, Warren, wake up. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, some of these cars are not looking healthy. I hope they got some better mechanics than uh, what these guys got. For those of you that don't know, Abby is our car, and we've had her for over three years zigzagging across Europe. And if you don't know how to have a car in Europe, if you're looking at being a nomad and want to travel, go ahead and check out our website again for information about car turf, and you can reach out to us about how we have our car and watch our videos. We have abs here. We don't know how long we're here whether it's one hour or whether or not it's uh, one week so these are the cars that they started to work on but they just didn't know what was going on so they stopped now if this was in the united states i'd be guessing that i'm going to be paying well over a thousand dollars for repairs let's see if i get lucky but i've got a feeling being in albania our price will be a pleasant surprise we're using the same taxi that took us from the garage to take us back. We think we overpaid both ways. On our way to go get Abby, um, 2,500 each way on the taxi to where we broke down, or where Abby is anyway. So taking this more or less 15 minute taxi ride, 
each way and paying about $26 here in Albania. I'm feeling pretty confident we're overpaying. We chose to go with the taxi driver though since he knew where we had to go to and we just wanted to get back without a hassle. But I'm fairly confident we probably could have done this trip via taxi half price. If we felt like we paid the right rate, we would have advertised him right here. Okay, we're getting abs back. She's got a new clutch. And uh, yeah, so we're now gonna pay him. It's gonna be a total of, uh, I think it's uh, 46,000 Turkish, uh, not Turkish, <laughs> uh, Albanian <laughs> lek. Okay, new clutch. Okay, so here's the total bill. Okay, ciao. So this is what we were looking like, huh? Ah. Look, it looks terrible. Okay. Okay, I'm back in the driver's seat. So we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna let Julie be the cameraman as I test out this clutch. So far, so good. Get the taxi going. Okay, we got the uh, clutches working, and now we're gonna see what we feel like going forward. We'll see if Warren's gonna blame so, <laughs> bad fuel in Italy. So she's wanting to talk about me blaming the Italian fuel. It happened. We lost power as soon as we were in Careful. Italy with this Italian fuel. So, in my opinion, the Italian fuel sucks. And I, I've got that ingrained in my brain now. So, it's going to be where I always think Italian fuel sucks, even if it was my clutch this whole time going out that I should have been blaming. But it's subconsciously now drilled in that the Italian fuel is below grade. Since I feel like Service Arsa treated us right, they're in Fanique. So, if you break down, check them out. Oftentimes people ask us what we pay for certain things and this month we had our dogs groomed. Okay, time for these two furry little monsters to get their grooming. So look at that furry monster. So let's go get the grooming. She's gonna be about 5,500 left for the two of them. And the cost for Aria was 3,000 Albanian lek. That was $31.50. And Katie was 2,500 Albanian lek or $26.25. So for the two of them, we paid $57.75. And honestly, that wasn't bad. Now the vet there does a great job with the animals here in the local area. So we were happy to give her some business. She does work with the strays and helps to take care of them and get them sheltered and does spay and neutering so um the vet there at paws if you're going to be in the area with your dog you can trust her hello hi well this is the vlog of warren and julie i'm happy that you brought your pets here to us and i hope you liked our work and you welcome back again in albania when you come to see us now as a reminder everybody julie and i we're slow traveling with our two dogs we're trying to see what it's like to live in different countries different places typically staying one to three months and we're trying to share our experiences and expenses with you and sometimes we'll share the experiences and expenses of other expats and nomads we meet along the way as well as speaking to realtors and professionals on residency and all kinds of topics so we hope that you're going to subscribe give this video a like follow along and until next time have a great day everybody bye bye ciao